हेलो एवरीवन आई अंकिता गुप्ता असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर आईटी डिपार्टमेंट आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर माय लेक्चर ऑन द सब्जेक्ट वायरलेस टेक्नोलॉजी इन द लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द वायरलेस टेक्नोलॉजी बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन एंड डेफिनेशन एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वायरलेस टेक्नोलॉजी टाइप्स देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ वायरलेस टेक्नोलॉजी दैट आर रेडियो ट्रांसमिशन सेटेलाइट ट्रांसमिशन इंफ्रा ट्रांसमिशन एंड लाइट वेव ट्रांसमिशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई अगेन वॉन्ट टू टेल यू अबाउट द वायरलेस टेक्नोलॉजी बेसिकली वायरलेस टेक्नोलॉजी एज द नेम इज सजेस्टिंग दैट देयर इज ट्रांसमिशन बिटवीन टू और मोर लिंक्स विदाउट एनी वायर इन वायरलेस टेक्नोलॉजी इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक सिग्नल्स आर ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस विदाउट एनी वायर Uh, first of all we are going to discuss about the radio transmission in the radio transmission electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves from one place to uh, another place is going through electromagnetic signals by the modulation of signals modulation is the changing of waves in many terms the terms may be amplitude phase frequency and pulse width amplitude frequency phase these are the types of modulation basically modulation is the changing of language from one to another so from uh, when the signals are going from one place to another place it is modulated now we are going to discuss about the frequencies of radio transmission basically frequency is the speed on which data signals are carries first of all short wave frequency in short wave frequency uh, data goes through from one place to another place in a short range or in a distance which is very low next is whf which stands for very high frequency very high frequency is more than short wave transmission third one is ultra high frequency in ultra high frequency it is more frequent than short wave and very high frequency we are going to discuss about the characteristics of radio transmission first of all it is easy to generate as i have told you about the signals it modulated uh, in the form of amplitude frequency and pulse so it is very easy to generate it is goes in a analog form there are two types of signal analog signal and digital signal and in radio transmission it is go it goes through the uh, analog signals <coughs> in the live example we can say in the radio fm radio these are these frequencies are divided uh, in the bands and from the uh, lapping of band uh, it use guard band bands next is long distance it is used for the long distance for example we can see uh, in the uh, jaipur area there are uh, many radio transmission uh, there are many radio uh, signals or uh, many radio channels which can be separated and uh, give their services next is penetrating uh, building these signals penetrate buildings uh, in a uh, long distance it first of all it carries in a long distance next is it is easy to generate and third one is it penetrate the buildings one more characteristics is there that is omnidirectional there are two things first is uh, unidirectional and omnidirectional omnidirectional stands for when the signals go goes in all directions and in unidirectional there is signal which goes in only one direction so when we talk about in radio transmission signals goes in all the directions so it is called omnidirectional signals <coughs> after the after radio transmission we are going to discuss about satellite microwave transmission now we are going to discuss about satellite transmission satellite is a device or satellite is situated in orbit in uh, when we talk about the very long distances satellite transmission is used there in satellite transmission uh, when when the radio frequency goes at the 100 megahertz radio microwave transmission is used in that condition it uh, it stands for a line of sight concept when we talk about line of sight concept 
it stands for the two antennas in a line when signals goes through the long distances these uh, distances may uh, uh, the signals may weak so parabolic antennas are used on the antenna on the antenna the radio frequency is cast and it is sent on the ne next link on 100 megahertz wave it travels in a line or an it makes a straight line in the above disc we discussed about the radio transmission in radio transmission it was omnidirectional and i also told you about the concept of unidirectional in satellite microwave transmission waves goes in unidirectional means it uh, passes through in a one direction when it goes in a one direction two antennas are situated and signals go in one line so this line of sight concept is used in satellite microwave transmission for very long distance distances it uh, there is also a term hope h o p hope which means when two antennas are situated and signal go through a long distance it it make one hope one hope is called between two antennas it is called one hope or and one hope may be from 30 to 60 kilometers it may take the distance from 30 to 60 kilometers when i am talking about 30 to 60 kilometers the signals may weak so whenever the signals is getting weak repeaters are used between the antennas to boost the signal or we can also say that it is used for the amplification of signal it use the frequency of 2 to 8 gigahertz 2 to 8 gigahertz frequency is used in satellite microwave transmission now we are going to discuss about how this transmission take place for example in this diagram we take the voice data video voice data video is sent to the modulator sorry multiplexer first of all this a uh, data voice voice data video is sent on multiplexer as multiplexing is the technique in which one signal is sent and it is uh, more than one signal is sent and they are sent with uh, and in one path and after multiplexing they are demultiplexed after multiplexing modulation technique is used Modu modulation means changing modulation means changing the path using amplitude phase and frequency they are changed that is called modulation next term is used a converter as i have told you that uh this uh, this transmission is used using the antenna and antenna is from uh, it is far from the earth so when the signal is sent from earth to the antenna that term is called up converter then through the radio frequency there are transmission antenna through uh, after up converting through the radio frequency this is after this is radio, uh, transmission of antenna this is called the sender of the <coughs> this is the sending process on the receiving end again transmission of antenna catch the signal and uh, it uh, take the signal voice data video and in the reverse process it is demultiplexed demultiplexing is the process when all the signals which are together is separated again after that demodulation is done in the demodulation technique 
the data is demodulated. Again, one term is used that is down converter. In down converter, uh, as the antenna is far from earth, so when the signal comes from antenna to earth, that term is called down converter and signals is received. So that was microwave transmission. After the radio transmission and microwave satellite transmission, there is infrared, infrared wave transmission. In infrared wave transmission is used in a very short range. For the very short range, this type of transmission is used. This is the directional cheap and very easy to use. For example, in the at home, we use TV remote and VCR remote that is that use this technology which is called infrared wave transmission. This uh, stands for the characteristics for not penetrate as we use TV remote which, uh, which laser beams can't be penetrate at home. So it is basically it is used for the indoor virus lens. It is very cheap and easy to use. The beam is uh, beam does not penetrate the uh, basic uh, solid objects like walls. It is very low power and it has the high security. So we can we can take the best example as a TV remote or VCR re uh, remote for the infrared wave transmission. Next is light wave transmission. Light wave transmission is very cheap and it uses the laser beams. Laser beams are used to send the data. It is used as a lane between two buildings. When we want a transmission uh, wirelessly and we use the and we want a cheap transmission, then light wave transmission is used. When there is two building and we want to connect that building via LAN, so when uh, light wave transmission can be used. Two buildings can be used and it is used the unidirectional. Unidirectional means when the signal is sent in one direction. You can see in the example, suppose there are two buildings, building A and building B. Both the big, uh, building should have its own photo detector and photo detector and laser. When one, one building send the data, the another building must have its own laser and photo detector. It is very low cost to, uh, to make a LAN between two buildings. Thank you, thank you and thank you.